Hello, hello. Health, wealth, life. Day 46. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The year is whizzing away. Where are we? We're over halfway through, way over halfway through um, February. Let me just get this sorted out. Give me one sec. That's better. iPhones, why are the batteries still so crap? I'm certain they could make a battery that would last for days on end. Anyway, right, so, happy days. Hashtag health, wealth, life, day 46. And welcome, welcome. Hope you are smashing through your New Year's resolution. Dodgy connection in here, back in the room. So, oh, back in the room with four people there. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> hope you had a good day. So, uh, smashing through those New Year's resolutions. Hope you're still on track. And if you've got on off track, let's get back on. Let's do a little training together every day. Join me at 6 p.m. every day. Apart from Thursdays, tomorrow will be uh, between 4 and 4.30. So if you can't catch it live, catch it a little bit later. Uh, but always welcome. And whatever you write in the comment box, I will see it. I will reply. Let's start the conversation. And welcome, welcome. And, and feel free to add your point of view. It's always welcome in here. So, talked about um, exercise yesterday. I gave you an exercise tip or a couple of exercise tips. So the four sections we'll talk about in Health, Wealth, Life all the way through the year is, is health, wealth, life. There's four main sections, lifestyle, exercise, nutrition, and supplementation. They're the four main. So we'll go, we'll spend a lot of time in lifestyle. I'll give you loads of exercise tips as we go through the year, loads of nutritional stuff and little tips and tricks you can take away with that and, and common sense stuff. And uh, then some supplementation that really just power boosts everything. Adriana and Lauren, good to see you. Hope you're well. Uh, Adriana, we need to have a little chat about um, the fish oils and stuff that we started the other day. Uh, let's continue that conversation. So I uh, hope you caught the exercise one. If you didn't, just skim to it. It'll be underneath this video uh, or a couple underneath this video because I've, I've videoed one, uh, did a video earlier today. Uh, check that out. Check it out. It's free information and I'd love to get your viewpoint on it as well. So today is a couple of, uh, a couple of tips. <coughs> um, two tips for you to try today. Two tips for you to try today. A bit of alliteration there, loads of T's. Two tips for you to try today. So they came about, uh, a lot of Health Wealth Life, it is going to be a structured principle from my book or it's going to be something that was highlighted to me today, something that I learned today and I'll share it with you and hopefully it gives an insight to you and it gives you a hand, uh, gives you a thought or an inkling or an insight on something that, get, that uh, gives you a hand up, gives you a leg up. So, uh, and vice versa, do the, sh do the same with me, share yours. Uh, so today I woke up and um, have you ever um, have you ever have you ever been on your way to work? Have you ever been on your way to work or to your business or wherever you go every day? So you, you've got uh, uh, a child and you're taking them to school. So you're, you're doing that journey day in day out. Nas, welcome aboard. And um, there's a uh, roadworks. So there's roadworks and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to be a bit late and this is really damn annoying. And I, I don't know the other way. I know this perfect way. This is the best way I'm going to go this way. I go this way every day and I don't want a detour. And you're forced on this detour. Now you're off on this detour and you actually end up going round and you're up and down. And you, go, and you think, that was actually a better way. Jane, good to see you. Glad to have you on board. Anna, how are you? Happy days. Hope you both had an amazing day. And Rose, I see you there. Um, have you ever been on a, on a pushed, forced on a detour? So you're on your way to work or you're on your way to business or you're on your way to take your kids to school as an example and you go the same way all the time. You could do it with your eyes closed, literally. Don't try this at home, but you could do it with your eyes closed. Hannity, how are you? Um, and you're forced on this detour and you end up finding a better way. You think, damn it, that way was better. So you end up taking this new route. Now, at first you're thinking, well, this is really annoying. But by the time you get to wherever your destination is, you're awake. You are awake, you're like, ping, even if you felt a bit sluggish on the way out, even if you've been drinking the best healthy coffee on the planet. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Hi, Anadi. Mally, good to see you, mate. So you're forced on this detour. By the time you get to your um, nods, thank you for sharing. Please press the share button if you're watching this. And if I say anything or at any point, press the share button um, if I say anything that helps you or relates to you. So you're forced on this detour. And by the time you get to your destination, you're like, ping, you're wide awake and you feel more awake than you, you have in a couple of days. Now the reason for that is because a lot of us like familiarity, we all like familiarity, and we get used to doing the same things in the same way and going the same route, 
And when we're forced to do something different or we do something differently, we increase and stimulate dopamine in our brain. Now these are, this is a neuro, neurotransmitter, doesn't matter about that word. It's a transmitter in your brain that is related to reward and, um, uh, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Uh, Reward and pleasure, 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 pleasure. So it's related to reward and pleasure. It's also related to concentration and focus. So if you can stimulate reward and pleasure in your brain, yeah, sounds good. If you could do that, would you take that opportunity? Would you? Put me a thumbs up or a yes if you would. So I know I would like to control that a lot more than what we initially think is uh, is possible. Now we don't want to overdo it. Nola, welcome aboard. Woo. Camera went mad. So um, if we could stimulate uh, pleasure and reward in our brain and we don't overdo it, then we could lift our days at certain points, couldn't we? We could wake up feeling a bit, uh, oh, what? and we could do something if we knew how to stimulate that dopamine and reward and pleasure stimulus in our brain to make us come up. Now, a lot of people turn to stimulants, like maybe energy drinks, loads of sugar, maybe way too much caffeine. Uh, hi, Rose. Hi, Carmen. Welcome aboard. Hey, everyone. And um, people turn to that. That's not such a good way. Here's another way. So you, what if you could, you could control that? What if there were little methods you could use? So I'm going to give you a little tip. I'll give you a little tip that I've uh, used today and I tagged it onto another tip. So first tip of the day, it's two tips for you to try today. Number one is you do something, an everyday routine, differently. What do I mean by that? Okay, what do we do when we first wake up or near to when we first wake up? Brush our teeth. I'm going to get in there before something else comes to your mind. Brush your teeth. So if you brush your teeth, you're right-handed, do it with your left hand. It's weird at first, feel like, but... After two, three minutes, you kind of get used to it. And then your brain kind of wakes up even more. Now, if you're left-handed, do it with your right hand, so vice versa. If you're really skilled, try and do it with your, with your foot, as a joke. So left hand, switch your hands. Now, you could also change your route to work. You could also uh, get out of bed on the opposite side to which you always get out of bed. We're all creatures of habit, right? So usually, I would, I would bet that you get out the same side of bed every day. Would I be right? Would I be right? Thank you all for sharing, by the way. You're being very generous. Sharing is caring. And then you let me know I'm on the right track, giving some good information. So thank you. Um, so get out of bed the other side. Maybe you've got to climb over someone to do that. I don't know. I don't know. So get out of bed the other side. Les, good to see you again, mate. Twice in one day. It's a good thing. Um, so change up. Change up uh, what you're doing. Variation. We need variation. And when you vary something that you do every day, routine. You know, if you say you put on trousers or tights or jeans, um, you can only get out of bed one way. Maybe I shouldn't ask why. You can answer if you like, you don't have to, but I'm not sure if I should ask why. Uh, so uh, maybe you put your right foot in your tights or in your jeans or in your trousers first. Maybe you always do right foot. Tomorrow, as you've got on there, or your, your underwear, because we all should be wearing underwear. Maybe you're skipping underwear. Either way, you're wearing some clothes. You're not going out naked. You've got to put your leg in something. Maybe you do your right leg first. Do it with the left. So change it up. Your brain just pop, pop, pop and do these little things. And it will make you feel more awake, more alert, more focused. That's because we're stimulating dopamine. And we'll also stimulate um, pleasure. I can't think of that word today. Pleasure. Tara, welcome aboard. Uh, there's a wall on the other side. Okay, fair enough. You can't get out of that. What about the end? Can you slide out the end? Just get out a different way. Get out a different way. Just change it slightly. Maybe you roll onto your left and you get, maybe sit right up in bed, swing your legs around, get out a different way. Just change your routine just slightly. Just slightly. So that's the first thing. Now, I came across this when I, when I uh, was on, forced on a detour towards work one day and I actually got sent on a detour and uh, and found a better route and end up thinking, why well, is a much better way to do things? So change up some of your routines. Maybe you make coffee in the morning and you stir with your right hand because you're right-handed or your left hand because you're left-handed. We'll switch. Stir it with the opposite hand. I always try and do things with the opposite hand and try and get stronger with my weak hand. I'm right-handed, but I use my left hand for quite a bit. My dad's actually ambidextrous. He's weird like that. He plays snooker left-handed, writes left-handed, uh, plays golf right-handed. <laughs> He's right-footed, weird. Anyway, 
Anyway, it's all good. So it's ambidextrous. I'm not quite as ambidextrous as that, but it's good to switch up, switch around. So do things differently. Grab things with your left hand. Try and write something with your left hand. Maybe when you're texting. So if you text a lot with your right hand, your right thumb change to the left. Try it out and you just stimulate pleasure uh, in your brain on a natural sense, in a natural way. And it's not something you could really overdo because it's natural. It's not an unnatural high that you're going to get a high and then a massive drop, which we don't want, right? So do or try all those things. Give me some of the things that you could try. Is there anything that uh, you've thought of that I, hasn't, that I haven't mentioned? You know, getting out of bed, brushing your teeth, making your coffee or your tea in the morning, do it with the opposite hands, get out the opposite side of the bed or the other end of the bed, whatever, it, whatever works for you, climb up the wall, whatever it is. Um, tell me if I missed something. So is there something that you do in the morning? If you're putting your, your underwear on or your trousers or your tights on, you get always put your right foot in uh, first, put your left foot in. So change it up, change it up. Have a think about that and... Um, and uh, and, and try something a different way. And let me know if I've left something out because I'd like some uh, more ideas on this. So let them come. Pop them in the box. I'll always see them if you're watching this live or if you're watching this recording. doesn't matter. We'll all see it. Uh, especially if you made a comment. Sarah, welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hope you had a great day. Uh, brush your hair. Yeah, so if you're brushing your hair and you always do it with your right hand, then do it with your left. Do it with your left. It'll feel weird, but your brain, you'll be sparked up. I, I promise you. You're going to have... Uh, reward and pleasure <laughs> pinging off in your head in a natural way so another thing i did today was creating that variation i did something i don't know if you saw my video earlier on if you didn't it's just below if you're watching on youtube it's just below if you're watching on facebook now it's just below uh, i had a walk through camden and it was before the rush hour so you, if those of you know camden uh heaving it's like a sea of people <laughs> yeah putting makeup on might take a little bit of skill so maybe just start with one tiny bit a few dabs of whatever it is you're putting on and then go back to the right hand because you might go out the house looking kind of wacky and wild <laughs> like like a child did your uh, your makeup that day that's cool anyway so th just do a few minutes like a few seconds switch over a few seconds switch over keep doing that it gets your brain really really wired up and fired up for the day reward and pleasure in a natural way so i walked through camden at about eight o'clock this morning and I don't know if you saw it, check that video out. It's a cool little video because you see Camden when it's really quiet and it was really nice. It was actually a kind of bluey grey sky and it was, it was mild, slightly damp but cool but not cold. It was really nice and I walked through and I took about an hour to, in between clients because so the client not come in. So I thought I'm going to go and do something different because this morning I woke up and I felt a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, not, my, not myself, not 100%, you know, a little bit under par for whatever reason. And... Uh, so I spend time every morning, it's part of a ritual, and I will do a video on rituals, I keep saying that. I've done one where I gave you five, so I'll break all of those down and do a video on each one of those. So I spend time, Bryce, good to see you, mate. Hope, hope you're uh, having a great day. Uh, I think you're out in Dubai, is that right? Let me know, I think you are. Um, so I spend uh, a period of time in the morning get my, my consciousness, my mind, into the right state, because sometimes it can wake up and be a bit of a bit of ammonia can rise and whine rather than rise and shine. And I like to rise and shine. So I take a bit of time. I take a few moments to get my consciousness in the right state. And I've, I've shared this before. I spend some time meditating or just consciously focusing my mind on the things uh, that make me happy and what I want. So really direct my mind what I'm thinking about. And then I, I write out my goals. I showed you that the other day and I've written them every day for over a year now. Uh, and then I'll do some reading and I'll also listen to some audio. So I'm processing that in my brain, telling my brain, this is the way we want to go. Anyway, I still had this kind of dullness, shall we say. So when I got to work, I, I, I trained a client and I thought, I'm getting out. I'm going to get out and do something different. I walked off. I was on my own for about an hour and I had to walk around. It was amazing. Stupidly simple, but amazing. Now, what I realized was you can have variety wherever you are at any moment in your life. But what we need to do is to slow the hell down. You know, you know, I've been sharing my story, what's all the stuff that's been going on this year has been mental and I'm a bit manic most of the time anyway. I do need spells where I just ease off because I go like 100% and I stay there. So I just need to slow down and actually notice so much more. And I noticed how many shops were in Camden. I noticed how many tattoos and piercing places there were. That was quite freaky actually. It really is the land of tattoo and piercing. <laughs> It's mental, actually. And I was looking at all these shops thinking, wow, they all make a living. How do they do that? How are these doing? All these delivery men, what do they get paid? You know, what kind of lifestyles they got? They're all up quite early. They're working hard. You know, all this stuff going on and just processing all this information. It was a really cool place. 
grimy though. You know, I don't know if you saw the stuff about the pollution in London the other day. It's at an all-time high and it's terrible, particularly on buses. So if you're walking down the street or if you're a bus driver, I thought bus drivers must be, you know, building this toxin, these toxic uh, substances up in their system. You just can't avoid them. And on going on the trains even is bad as well. Have you actually gone on the train while I think of it, taken an earbud and cleaned your ears or cleaned your nose, run it around the inside of your nose after you got off the train? It's rough. You should really do it because it takes out the dirt. Anyway, that was a side note. Random. Uh, okay, so what I, when I did this walk, I noticed I'd, I'd added variation. I'd done something different and uh, it sparked my brain. I felt a little bit more pleasure. I felt a little bit more alert. Uh, I felt reward for no particular reason and it was all natural. There was no stimulant in there other than breathing and doing something different in my life, moving in a different way. Now, <clears throat> that's tip number one and I went off on a big tangent, but uh, it tells the whole story. So I get, you can get it all. Um, now the second tip is this. Once you do something different, if you wake up and feel a little bit, uh, you know, we, it can happen some days, some more than others. And when you get that, when you notice I'm in one of those, I'm lower than par, I'm rising and whining rather than rising and shining. When you get that, do something different, brush your teeth, get out of bed to the other side, do, roll around, roll over in the bed, do something different. Do something different, do something different, go down the stairs, sideways, whatever it is. Don't fall down the stairs though, just because I said that. So maybe not the stairs one. Anyway, you get my point, be safe, but do something different. And uh, then, then attack your day. Attack it. I realized I wasn't attacking the day. And I, I wasn't attacking my day as usual because I felt a little bit under par and was unable to really bring myself uh, up that notch or two that I usually can in the morning for whatever reason. Um, some days this can happen and you know I'm, I'm human I want to share and be honest with you and I want to share even if you know it's 365 days I lead ideally health wealth life so if I get ill I still want to do a video I want to do a video if I've got a cold or flu. I still want to do that every day so I want to be real all the way through so some days I wake up and I am under par I don't feel like I'd be an amazing and motivational and positive I have to work on it it does take some work um, but I don't allow myself to stay in that state. There's things we can do. So do something different and then attack your day. Now, what do I mean by attack your day? I mean, get your to-do list out or create one. Get your phone out and just start making a note, right? Get your to-do list out, prioritize it, what needs to be done first, move them around, all the things, just download all the stuff out your head, move them around, prioritize them and hit number one, go. And that's the way you wanna take it on and, and you do that as soon as you can. So do something different, and attack your day. And those things will stimulate your brain in a natural way and give you reward and pleasure feelings without any stimulant, without anything, without any crash, without anything untoward or bad going into your system. Simple little tips. And that's what, that's what uh, was really, I was reminded of today. And a little bit about variation is just, you can have that anytime, anywhere. And that's it. Two tips for you to try today. Do something different, attack your day. And you do that by writing your list, to-do list, and prioritizing it, hit number one straight away, as quick as you can. Like when some, before I press live on these videos, I could really say, oh, I'll do it in a minute, I'll start in a minute, I'll just add a little bit more, just think about something, process something. And I, in the end, just go, like hit it, just put yourself in. It's like jumping in, you know, before you get in the swimming pool or in the sea, you're like, it's gonna be cold, a little bit uncomfortable at first. But you know once you're in, it's gonna be great. You just gotta get past it, you just gotta jump in. Sometimes just jump in. So just start that to-do list, bang. Maybe it's a phone call you gotta make, and you don't wanna make it, just just press start and it starts ringing and then once you're in, you know, you've got to deal with it and you'll deal with it. It'll be all right. So do something different. You can start tonight. You can start in the morning. I suggest you do something tonight. Maybe you're, you're making dinner and you usually stir the pan or the pot or whatever it is you're making with your right. Get the left hand involved. Get the left hand involved. Maybe you eat with your right hand, eat with your left tonight. You might want to bib on. Don't throw it all over yourself. So try it out. Try it out. Let me know how you get on. I'll be really interested to know. Pop some messages in here. Give me a share. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that very much and appreciate you're in board listening here and having a conversation with me. Um, Nola, I'd be interested to see a photo if you did try and put your makeup on with your left hand. That would be a fun one to share for us to see. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, have fun with it. Have some fun with it. So try it from, from now and try something like that every day. Do something different and attack your day. Do something different and attack your day. That's it. I'll leave you with that today. So remember guys, happy is a skill that you can learn and these and this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's get a clown face maybe because we put our makeup on with our left hand rather than our right hand. 
and maybe we put our trousers on back to front as well. Either way, have an amazing day, have an amazing evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's a bit earlier, 4.30, between 4 and 4.30 tomorrow, but if you can't catch it live, then please catch it on the recording, and let me know your thoughts as you watch it. Let me know your messages, pop them in, give me a thumbs up and a share as well. Uh, have an amazing day, take great care of yourself and everyone around you, and I will see you tomorrow for Health, Wealth, Life, day 47.